Chapter 3, Zam. Henry and Annie were eating lunch with Uncle Ed and Henry's parents. So, Annie, did you see Henry's room? asked Uncle Ed. Annie nodded. Did you pet his dog? Annie nodded again. Did you watch his fish? Annie nodded one more time. Henry worried. What if Annie talked about the dog drool and the smelly tank and the dusty cookies? Henry's parents would feel bad, especially Henry's dad. He was even messier than Henry. His car had a million hamburger wrappers on the floor. But Annie didn't say anything bad. She didn't say anything at all. She just cut up her hot dog into tiny pieces and ate quietly. Henry had not given up. There must be something they could do together. Do you play frisbee, he asked Annie. No, Annie shook her head. Want to try, Henry asked. Annie thought for a minute. She nodded her head. Great, said Henry. Outside, Henry stood on one side of the yard and Annie stood on the other. Mudge stayed in the middle so he could run both ways. He was pretty good at frisbee, except that he got the frisbee all wet. Henry told Annie how to make the frisbee spin. He told her not to worry. He told her it takes a while to get good at frisbee. Then he told her to throw the frisbee to him. Zam! The frisbee whizzed across the yard and into Henry's hands like a rocket. Wow, said Henry. Wow, said Annie. She looked at her hand as if she didn't believe it belonged to her. Henry whizzed a slow one back. Annie shot it back to Henry. Zam! Wow, they both said again. They played frisbee all afternoon. Annie was really good. At first, she stopped a lot to dry off the frisbee after Mudge got it. But pretty soon, she got used to the dog drool and threw the wet frisbee anyway. After supper, Henry and Mudge and Annie played frisbee again until dark. They went inside Henry's room. They were sweaty and dirty and tired. They were hungry too. Henry said he would go to the kitchen for a bag of cookies. Oh no, said Annie. She pulled the brown paper bag from under Henry's bed. I like these. I think I like these better, she said. She threw one to Mudge and she threw one to Henry and she threw one into her own mouth. Sometime you'll have to visit me, said Annie. Sure, said Henry. Be sure to bring the frisbee, Annie said. She looked at Mudge drooling on the bed. And be sure to bring Mudge. The next day, Henry and Mudge said goodbye to Annie. Mudge gave her another kiss. This time, Annie didn't turn pink. Henry and Mudge watched Cousin Annie right away. They both couldn't wait to see her again. The end.